Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are playing some Sprocket, and today we are actually going to be building a tank destroyer. Now, it makes sense to actually build a tank destroyer with the new scenario that we have. It is defense. Essentially, we need a tank that can kill tanks. So, uh, yeah, a tank destroyer seems to make sense to me. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump straight into defense and see if we can build something that works out. We'll see. Okie dokie, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with the freeform hull like we always do, this one right here, and we're gonna try and figure out how to actually set this up in a way that it'll actually work. So actually, straight away, we're gonna go to mobility, uh, and I wanna try and make sure that the tracks themselves actually look pretty good on this one. So we're gonna go to fenders and get rid of those, uh, and then we're gonna try and figure out the rest of it. So go to, where is it, mobility, tracks, there we go, excellent. Um, and we're gonna try and figure this out. So that's gonna go up there a little bit and Oh wait, should we have sprocket at the front? I never do sprocket at the front. Let's do it So sprocket's gonna come at the front. There we go, and it's actually gonna be pretty big. There we go We're gonna do something like this excellent. We're gonna have no return rollers I don't think uh, we want those and then the road wheels themselves. I want to make them as big uh, As I can let's say about there. We'll actually make this longer if I can there we go. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to lower this down as well to about there. That's fine. And I want an extra one in here if I can. So, um, yeah, spacing. Can I make that smaller? Nope. Hang on. Width. It's not really width that I want either. Diameter? I don't know what it is that I want. I want it to be bigger. Like, I really do. I want this to be a little bit bigger. Um, we'll make this a little bit smaller and therefore we'll get more. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes to there. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. I'll go with something like this. This looks this looks like it'll work. Fantastic. Yeah, nice. Um, it still looks a little bit small, but I think that's okay. We might... Should we make it taller? I'm not sure. No, we'll leave it as is. We'll leave it as is. All right, go back to components. Go to faces. Let's go ahead and extend this out sideways. There we go. We'll actually bring that all the way out to there. We'll then actually go to here. Uh, we'll go to edges. We'll grab this edge and we'll split it. There we go. Faces, obviously we'll extend this bit, this bit, and this bit upwards. Here we go, fantastic. And that's gonna go up to about there and be extended backwards, yeah. So even though I do want this to look good, I do want it to be relatively simple in its design, which I think we can do. I think we can get away with. So something like that actually looks pretty sick, to be honest. I like it, already I like it, nice. Okie dokie, so the next thing, uh, I want a slight bit of an angle on the sides. Clearly I don't want to get shot in the sides, but a little bit of an angle right there will not hurt anyone, so that's pretty good. Uh, the next thing, oh, I don't know what the next thing should be. Maybe here and here we'll actually extend these guys upwards a tiny bit, like so. We'll actually bring it into this and have them angled inwards also. There we go, hopefully, hopefully uh, they somewhat fit together, which I, I believe they do, so that's good. We'll actually grab this piece and this piece and send it out to there. We'll also grab that bit and also that bit and we'll send it this way. Alright, excellent. So we got a little bit of a defense on the rear. I think that's a pretty cool idea. There we go. Just like this. Fantastic, yeah. Looks a bit small though, to be honest. It does. It looks a little bit small. Alright, so what I'm actually thinking then is we go to faces, we grab this piece and we actually extend this out over the sides. Uh, just a little bit. I don't want it to be too much like this. There we go We'll actually extend this backwards as well a little bit and then we'll go to this point We'll grab this one and this one. We'll bring it upwards to about there and That looks actually kind of interesting good uh, Kind of want to bring this bit this bit. Well, actually, let's go to faces and we'll move this bit all upwards Yeah, it makes the front look a little bit strange, but that's okay We'll then put this piece in make it a little bit smaller and we should be able to extend this backwards which could look really cool. At the same time, it might not, but yeah. So we'll bring this all the way out to here. We'll actually lower it down so it fits in. Yeah, good. And then we'll bring this piece and this piece a little bit forwards. Yeah, that looks sick. Actually, I really like that. That's cool. Nice. Uh, it does mean that this piece should probably go out sideways, but no, we're gonna leave that there for now. We'll add some stowages and stuff along the side, and I think that'll be really cool, actually. I like the idea of that. Okay, before we move on to anything else, go back to uh, mobility, go to tracks, and we're going to make the width of them a little bit bigger. Actually, 
0.6 is the first thing, that's fine. I think the thickness needs to be bigger than what it currently is. So I'm actually going to bring this up to 0.15. That might be a tad too big, but that's okay. We can sort things out a little bit. In fact, go to components, select all, move it up a tiny bit, and whack it in right there. That's fine. That is actually completely fine. All right, back to mobility. Yes. Uh, back to the tracks. Let's try and figure this out. So the length, we'll make them a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll go ahead and change them up a little bit. So I actually want the wheels in the middle. Would that be interesting to have it like that? I'm not sure. We'll actually have the one at the back like so. That's good. We'll have the road wheels themselves. I kind of like the idea of them looking like that. But what if we use these? Nah, we'll, we'll use these ones. I've never used these ones. Uh, so there we go. Suspension is going to stay the same. That's okay. Uh, return rollers, we don't actually have any. Uh, track segments themselves. Kind of like the idea of them looking like this. So we're going to go with that. And spares. We're going to add one of these across the front. However... There is a big however here. The front still needs to be built. <laughs> There's still no front on this thing. So extend this out. Okay, clearly that's fine. We're going to extend it this way and we're going to angle it down to a point where both of them look like the same, if that makes sense. Bring this upwards uh, to about there and grab this one and this one and send it this way a tiny bit. There we go. Fantastic. That actually looks like it'd take a shot. That's good. Nice. Back to mobility. Uh, back to spares. We're gonna add some spares on the front right there. That actually looks sick already. That looks cool uh, Then obviously we need the gun. We need the other things as well, but that's cool so far so good compartments grab this piece Grab this piece and extend it inwards. Yeah, nice Okay, that's actually pretty sick That is pretty sick. I think that looks fantastic good all right, so I think we'll do what the Russians did in World War II. We'll actually put the gun off to one side, and then we'll have, like, a, a, an entrance way right here for the driver and stuff. So let's go to crew. We'll actually attach one of these on straight away, just like... Literally just like this, that's fine. Uh, we'll go to viewports. So we'll add the driver's seat just above it, just like so. But, whoa, hang on. We'll put that back. And I want to stretch it so it's bigger. I, I do this quite often now, but there you go. So stretching it so it's bigger, and... I think that actually looks okay. That looks kind of interesting. I like it. All right, cool. So the Commander's Coupla is going to go, I guess, on the top. Like, realistically, it should go on the top. And we'll put it on this side, the same side as the driver, because the gun is going to go here. So this makes sense. This did, does make sense. Storages. Let's add some here. Yep. Yeah. All right. We need to make them, like, smaller and just sort of make them fit in. So bring it down. Obviously, have it on both sides if I can. There we go. Excellent. We'll actually have two of those right there. Very nice. Yeah. And then some of these boxes maybe right here. Maybe just one. There. Yeah. Right there like that. That's sick. That actually looks very cool. Uh, antennas. We could add these to the back if we need to. I think we probably will. And we'll lower them down into there. Very good. Oh, yeah. This looks, this looks interesting. I like it. Alright, so now it's time to actually try and add a gun. Now, realistically, if I'm gonna go, like, sort of Russian style, I do want something like this to be added. However, actually adding it so that it fits properly is a little bit tricky. However, I think that works. We're gonna... we're probably gonna go with that. That's fine. Yeah, I like it. It works. And then, clearly, we need to make the gun bigger. So, let's go to cannon. Yes. We're gonna have it be about two meters... L actually, let's go with one right here. Okay, one right there, then we're going to add another section, and that bit's going to be two meters long. And I think that's as long as we sort of want it to be. Kind of, anyway. I think that's good. Uh, as for the actual caliber, we're going to go to 88 mil uh, by 350. Actually, no, let's go with more. Let's go with more like 500. There we go. So penetration on that is 134. If I make it smaller, is that about right? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Penetration's 133 millimeters. That doesn't seem too good. That doesn't seem too good, considering they can have, like... We're in late war, so they can have, like, 200 mil of armor. That's really bad, actually. Let's go with more. Let's go with 120 mil gun by uh, as big as we need it to be. So, like, let's say 750, and then obviously we'll make the, the barrel bigger. And maybe this will be two also. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that's six. Now we've got 186 millimeters of pen. That seems pretty good. Uh, we can add another little bit on the end. 
Although, actually, no. We'll just add one of these. There we go. That looks sick. That actually looks really cool. Hopefully, it'll work. It might. It might not. All right, so we don't actually need a gunner's sight on that because it clearly already has one uh, within this. That's the gunner's sight right there, I do believe. Uh, we've already got a commander's cupola. We've got a driver's seat already. We're doing pretty good. We've, we've actually got everything that we need, sort of. That's awesome. Uh, lights? Oh, I don't know where lights should go on this. I kind of feel like just above the driver's seat is kind of an interesting place for it. So we'll actually put it in the driver's view. Kind of weird, but I think I like it. All right, as for rear lights, obviously we could just whack these on right here. That's fine. Uh, on both sides, please. There we go. Excellent. Uh, utilities. Hmm. This is where we're going to start to have some problems. <laughs> I think. Where we're going to start to have some problems, I think. So, hang on. Why is that just midair? Compartments. I'm actually going to extend this backwards. We are actually going to extend this backwards, just like so. And we're going to angle it like this. There we go. So that's going to get angled like this. This is going to come down uh, to about there. And then we need to add these guys to the rear. Okay. So these guys need to go in the back of here like so. Yeah. Okay. That works. That totally works. Add some of these to actually be able to pull it around. Very nice. Add some to the front to be able to pull it around on the front too. And maybe just some littered on the side too. So one there and one there. Excellent. Yes. Oh, this thing is looking like a beast so far. We obviously need all the engine stuff back here, but we can get that involved. Uh, and then we'll be good. All right, these things. I would have loved to have fit that there or even here, but we can't. So we will actually put this on the side of the gun, like this. And then this one on the side of here, like so. I think that's fine. Yeah, good. What else do we need? What else do we actually need need? I'm not sure. Maybe an actual gun like this one? I don't think so. We can probably put one of these on the top, though. Kind of an interesting idea, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Uh, a log. Oh, it is a Russian tank. Oh, it's like sort of a Russian tank, I suppose. We could add one of these across the back. Like it does somewhat fit there. So let's have one there. Interesting. Yeah, nice. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and work on the actual uh, mobility of this thing. Actually, maybe we should... Mm. All right, hang on. Let's have 50 liters of fuel. That seems fine. We can then add external extra tanks, which I was going to do originally anyway along the side. Which we can still actually fit, I do believe. Uh, oh, We're having a few issues here. So, if that goes there, I want to match this one up sort of with it. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, excellent. Yeah, extra fuel tanks. Always necessary. Not always necessary. I don't know. Okay, so the reason I didn't want to do anything with the engine just yet is because I feel like we should actually put the frontal armor on first. Uh, and then the rest of the armor as well, just to make sure that the engine can actually cope with the armor, uh, if that makes sense. So all of it is actually going to be very thick. There we go, 170 on the front. Uh, this extra little bit right here is actually going to be 200. Uh, the bit on the underside doesn't actually have to be that much. Let's go with 100. And then the sides themselves, again, I don't want them to be too much. But uh, they're going to have to be a little bit, to be honest. They're going to have to be a good little bit. So we're going to go with about 95. Okay, we don't want to get a shot in this little section, so we'll make that oh, maximum. That's already maximum right there. Excellent. This is still the side. That's the side also, but it's the lower side, so we're going to go with like 75 here. There we go. We're giving it a lot of armor. Like it is, it is actually getting a hell of a lot of armor. Uh, 90 right there, that's okay. So is that everywhere on the front actually fully armored up? We're going to give this piece and this piece maximum, because they would have been anyway. Uh, the top is going to be... 50. There we go. The bit next to it at the top is also going to be 50. There we go. Fantastic. These pieces, because they can kill me from these pieces, are actually going to have to be very armored as well. So there we go. Significant armor there. Significant armor here. 50 right there. Excellent. On the rear of this, we'll go with 50 as well. That's fine. Uh, the rear of this and this. We're going to make that a little bit more than 50 because they're not within the constraints of this thing. So that's good. This is going to be maximum. This is going to be maximum. And there we go. Right, okay, excellent. Da -da -da, armor view. So the side is actually pretty minimal armor. Down here is actually extremely minimal armor. Uh, right here is the underside. We're going to go with 30 mil right there, actually. And we're going to go with 30 mil right here also. There we go. And I do kind of feel like the side at the front 
Needs a little bit more armor. So we're going to go with 110. Yeah, that works. Okay, good. We've armored it up to a point where I think it'll be fine. We're going to armor up this bit as well uh, to about 80. That's good. And there looks like there's a green bit right here. 75 mil? I think that's fine. I think what we've got is okay. We'll leave it as is. I think it'll work. All right, so now we actually need to go to the engine, get the engine working, and then once we've got the engine working, we'll be good to go into an actual fight. So let's go to advanced. We're going to have 10 cylinders. Uh, we're going to have a 2.5 liters per cylinder. Okay, so 25. The 25 liter engine. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, 3, 400 right there. Uh, 1, 700 right here. 1, 700 right here. And there we go. 11 horsepower per ton. I think that'll be fine, actually, yeah. Tracks are already in. Tracks are already done. Uh, I think we're good. All right, liveries. I usually go with this one. Or this one. Like, either or, actually. I kind of like both. Uh, I think we will actually fit it with this one, though. Kind of like it with the white. All right, good. Uh, decals. Obviously, it is Russian. Uh, so, we'll give it a star. We'll give it a star right there. And... Sure, I think we're I think we're good to go to war. I'll actually give it a star on the front too. Right on this, like it's a target. Like it's a little target. Very nice. Okay, good. Uh, there's more stuff to do though. We actually need to go to the engine. We need an exhaust on this thing, and we also need vents. So the vents themselves are gonna go off to the side. Uh, right here, we'll actually add one and two. There we go, right next to each other. And then we'll actually add one of these. I want two right next to each other. So make it a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. One right there and one right there. Excellent. Yes. As for the exhaust, I'm not entirely sure what to do with the exhaust. Uh, <laughs> that would be weird if I put it there. Um, one singular big thing in the middle. I kind of feel like this is what we need to actually go for. So we will. Here we go. Maybe two of these. Quite small. Maybe on the bottom, actually. I, I don't see a problem with adding this to the bottom. Make them a little bit bigger. Turn them around so that they fit in. And put them there. Yeah, that works. That totally works. Good. All right, fuel. We've already got the fuel thing going. Transmission. We're actually going to lower this by about two. Uh, I think we're good to go. I think we're actually good to go. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's good. We now need one more thing. We actually need to go to this turret and we need to make sure the azimuth actually works. So we're going to bring this up and top speed of three, time to turn one. Okay. It's a little bit slow, but I think it'll work out to be honest. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that I should add? Because I feel like this area is a little bit bare. So maybe one of these on the rear of this. So the gun can eject its rounds back here. And also we can put rounds in through there. That's good. We'll also have one of these. So that we can get in through the rear. And also some engine bay hatches too. So one right there. And another one a little bit further forward. Okay. I think that's fine. Clearly it's not the best. But that's okay. Stowages. Should we add one of these to the back? I think we should. I think we should. There we go. Oh, this is sick. All right. So now it's time to see if this will work. Actually, add an extra crew member, give them a little bit less room, and they'll be our radio operator. So now we've got all of the people that we need. Uh, we've got all of the armor that we would need as well. We're good to go. Yeah. All right. Hold your ground. Defend, guys. Is there only three of us? Oh, there's four of us. Okay. Four versus the enemy. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. All right, so we are actually waiting for the enemy still. I have just spotted one all the way over there. So let me turn my tank around and see if we can shoot it, shall we? Right, here we go. It, oh, no, it ricocheted off. Oh, that was a big sounding boom, but we're still good. All right, here we go. The reload time is not amazing on this. And it's also not actually getting through the armor of these tanks. That's not good. That's a really bad, bad feature of a tank destroyer. Not being able to destroy a tank. I feel like that should have killed it, but it didn't. All right, let's turn left. We need to deal with these guys. They're all going to cross the line otherwise, and we'll have problems. All right, stop and turn. We need to shoot that guy ASAP. Come on. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was very, very, very close. 
Okay, there's a guy all the way out there. We're going to get that guy next. Oh, my, my teammates miss a lot. They actually miss loads. I, th I think I tracked that one. Okay, that's good. Any other enemies that need shooting? Oh, one right in front of us. Oh, here we go. What is that? Oh, no. Okay, I don't think I can kill its frontal armor, but we're going to keep trying. A king tiger is just plowing its way towards me. Shoot it in the side of its turret. Here we go. It didn't kill it. No way. No way. Oh, it's so much bigger than me. Oh, we're going to have to just body block it. Charge! <laughs> Charge! Okay, just keep it from moving. I need my teammates to shoot this guy. Hang on, attack. This guy, get him. Get him. Oh, you're just reversing? Turn around. Please just stay there. Please just stay there. They can't kill each other in that in that scenario. We've been immobilized. Ridiculous. Oh, no way. Oh, no way we've been immobilized right next to this. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no. Okay, do we have any other tanks? Oh, this guy's immobilized too. This guy. King Tiger's dead. Okay, excellent. We now just need to take out this guy. Here we go. Nice. Okay, good. And then finally, I think there's two of me left. We need to take out the guy that's tracked over there. I think that's the last guy. I can't see him using this tank though. I can't move. So we've got this one versus the enemy. That's it. And then we win. Amazing. All right, here we go. So we're going to get ourselves into a position where we can just shoot at this thing. Uh, uh, it is tracked, of course, so that's a, that's a bonus for me. Um, can I hit it? Oh, I missed. All right, we're going to just continue. We're going to get very close to it, and we're going to shoot it from literally right next to it. But what do you guys think of this thing? Do you think I've done an all right job with the detailing and stuff? I think it looks all right. Obviously, it's minimal detailing. We didn't spend forever on it. But I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. All right, here we go. Is everybody ready? We are. We're going to try and demolish this guy. I don't know how it's going to work, though. All right, shoot me first. Okay, let's go. You're dead. Yes! Woo! Nice! That is awesome. We did it, guys. We actually did it. Yeah, boy! That's so cool. That is really cool. Oh my, I can actually push this tank around. <laughs> I can actually push that one around. Obviously, I couldn't kill the King Tiger that way, but that's still awesome. That's still really, really cool. But yeah, we actually we completed the mission that we were, we were designed to complete. I'm actually very happy with that. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more Sprocket on this channel. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.